We'll work on problems number 32 and 33 now on ULR final exam review. 32 says the monthly cost C of running the machinery in a factory for T hours is given by C of T equals 60 T plus 300. The number of hours needed to produce X products is given by T of X equals 3 times X. We're to find the equation representing the cost of manufacturing X products. That's going to be the function C of T of X. So, we write down C of T, but everywhere there's a T, we're going to leave a space open to put in T of X. T of X is 3X. So C of T of X, we simplify this, 3 times 60 is 180. That's times X plus 300. That is not one of the answers on the final exam review. But that is the correct answer. That should be 180 times X plus 300. All right, 33. We're asked to find the inverse function of F, where F of X equals X minus 7. This is something we haven't yet taught you. We were planning on teaching you later in the course, but here we find ourselves with very limited days, so we have to teach it to you now. When you want to find the inverse of a function, first you need to find out if it exists. If you graph the function and it passes a vertical line test and a horizontal line test. You recall we did a vertical line test to see if something was a function. Well, we graphed it. This is going to be the graph of y equals x minus 7. It's going to look like this, where it intersects the y-axis at negative 7. And we said if it passes a vertical line test, anywhere we lay a vertical line, we can only intersect it one time. That's true of any function. But to be a function with an inverse, it must also pass the horizontal line test, which means anywhere we lay a, ver a horizontal line, it has to intersect only one time. Otherwise, the function's inverse doesn't exist. This one passes the vertical line test, passes the horizontal line test. It has a function. To find its inverse, we have to notice that f of x is also y. I'm going to write this as y equals x minus 7. Then we switch the x and y. That means everywhere there was an I, a Y, everywhere there was a Y, we replace it with an X, and everywhere there was an X, we replace it with a Y. So I'm going to write X equals Y minus 7. Next, we solve for the new Y. We're going to add 7 to both sides and get X plus 7 equals Y. Now we'll replace the Y back with F inverse of X this time. So this is x plus 7, and we write f inverse. It looks like raised to a power, but it's not. It just means f inverse. f with a negative 1 looking like an exponent means f inverse of x. So the answer to 33 is f inverse of x equals x plus 7. I believe that answer is a. I just lost it, so that answer is a.